Hey guys, how are you doing? It's your boy Rob from Panther Vision and today we're going to create another flower. This is going to be a pretty interesting and complicated tutorial. It's not for everyone. It's for the people who love challenges, who love to step out from their comfort zone and to evolve in, in, in graphic design. You know, because in design you always get to the next level, you always learn something new and you always evolve, you know. So yeah, let's jump in. So first thing we're gonna do is basically switch uh, from fill to stroke by hitting this or pressing shift X and you can see here by pressing shift X it switches and we need the stroke okay we need the stroke from here we're gonna select the box which is the rectangle tool you can select it from the menu or you can press the M click and select the width and height and the width is going to be 65 you also need to do exactly like this with the same numbers so basically you get the same results and you don't get some other kind of distorted uh, shapes and this uh, the height is going to be 162 it's a rectangle and from here we're going to select the a letter or you can go to the menu and uh, select the direct the direct selection tool and select the whole box and here you can see here are these little dots basically what is happening if you press one of these dots and pull it you're gonna make the edges curvy and we need to make it like 100% curvy so it's gonna be like this from here we're gonna increase the stroke to 8 you can increase the stroke here in this menu or you have it right here in this section and increase it here to 8 all right, we're gonna press Control and Command C and Control and or Command F if you're a Mac user. And then we're gonna press F and rotate this into 90 degrees. You can see it created a copy and we're gonna select both. And again, press Control or Command C and con press Control or Command F. From here, we're gonna press Shift again and flip it once. So it's gonna be here. Okay, we have the first flower thingy right now. We're gonna create a copy from this. Press Alt, drag it and press Shift so you can isolate it perfectly. You can't basically move it, but you know, you can move it, but uh, not everywhere. Okay, we're gonna expand this form by going to Effect, I mean going to Object and Expand or Shift Control E. I mean in my case because I had just adjusted the shortcut it's only working for me but after you know expanding you need to go again to the objects go to path and offset path you're gonna hit previews and we're gonna select offset three pixels let me see at four no okay, that's not good all right we got it now it's on the offset you can see it created a more thicker kind of contour or an outline so from here we're going to cut these in pieces this is going to be the more complicated stuff so we're going to jump in let's press let's press shift plus m or you can select it from the menu this is the shape builder tool shift plus m and we're going to cut out uh different forms in here and uh, the first thing is going to be and these shapes need to go you know consistent like this so I'm gonna draw it first you know it's gonna go like this and it's go like this uh, but I'm gonna show you what it needs to be deleted so if this goes consistent like this and then basically I need to cut out this part and this part so you can see it here basically it interrupts and this one is going on and here also we need to cut it out so this one is consistent and this cuts up and the same way goes all the way done so this was basically the easy part and now it's gonna go it's gonna go a little bit more complicated right now here in this part is crossing so this one is consistent because this one is crossing this line so here we're going and uh, here this line needs to be consistent and this line needs to cross this line I don't know if you uh, see this 
So basically I need to cut out this and I need to cut out this form with this triangle basically that I had in. And I'm basically gonna follow this pattern. You saw this is going like this, this is going like that. Same thing in here. This is crossing here, so this one needs to be consistent. And what I'm gonna do is cut out this and this. And basically these are going to reflect each other. I mean this cutout gonna be in this zone also. Like this is going to be cut out also. But uh, first let's see how consistent it is here. So we don't make any kind of mistakes. It's gonna be, it's gonna continue in here. This is gonna go like this. You always hit into a triangle that needs to be cut off. So that's a good sign for you to memorize it, you know. See, this is the little triangle and you need to cut out with this part. And then this also cuts out, so this is how you remember it. Same thing here, triangle, rectangle. Triangle, rectangle, rectangle. I think I got lost already. So this goes here, this goes here, this, so the triangle is here, and this is here, because like there's, there's like more triangles going on. So this was a little bit more complicated, so far we're here, and we also need to cut out something around here, but this is kind of the most complicated one. And so what we have here, this is crossing, which basically is highlighted. So this is going to cross in here. But after that, we need to cut out these parts because this line is crossing here and it's hitting in here. So let's see what we can do. So here I need to cut out this and this triangle and this and this little triangle. So it should go something like this. As you can see, and I'm going with this curvature now, it goes here consistently, it, get, it gets hit in this line, which basically needs to cut out like this and like this. Again, you, you, the small little triangle, it's all, always recognizable there that you need to cut out that. Okay, interesting. So I managed to cut out all the shapes. Right now it looks like something like this. I'm gonna create a copy just in case. And I'm gonna ungroup this. Right click and ungroup. I'm gonna remove the top um, outlines or what is that called and delete those. And we got a perfect abstract flower kind of thing which looks Arabian, Arabic, or whatever. So yeah, I succeeded. I did uh, need it to, you know, create multiple versions of this one because I always failed at the beginning, but uh, this is how it goes. It's, uh, you know, in order to evolve in design, you always need to fail a couple of times. So yeah, this is kind of it. Hope it helped. Uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.